Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. It's over. It's over with that, that person. It's done. And oh. Hi guys. So this is a talking video and there's not going to be any editing because I'm lazy, which means you're gonna have to put up with the no scratches and stuff. Sorry. So, um, I thought I would just do a talking video. I'm not eating in this video because I'm talking a lot and because I'm full from supper still. So, <laughs> um, I just wanted to, to kind of, I guess, answer in an official video some of your like questions about why I'm choosing to do mukbangs yada 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 and I don't want to address this during mukbangs I just want mukbangs to be enjoying food and having fun and just light-hearted con content where I don't have to sh give anything of myself like share anything that you know I just I I've changed a lot I know people refuse to believe that and are looking for all kinds of evidence and, you know, just trying to counter that. But um, I have changed a lot mindset wise with certain things. Some things remain the same. Some things I'm still working on. But in the, you know, I can, I think it's safe to say after about almost two years of being different than what you're used to a different foodie beauty that the this is going towards a newer lifestyle and life changes are not just one day you're different completely okay it's gradual and it's painful and it's hard um adapting to a new lifestyle and um, I've had to grieve a lot of things from my old lifestyle, sure, of course, but it doesn't mean that it's what was best for me. And that's choices that I have the freedom to make in life. And nobody truly knows completely my life, my circumstances, my everything except for me, my feelings, okay, what's in my heart and in my mind. So, um, and I, I want to protect those things from now on. So what I did say in my post about, um, excuse me, not wanting to share intimate details of my life. You know, that's so different for you guys. And I know in a way, and I don't know what else other term to use, but a lot of you are grieving the old foodie beauty. A lot of you miss that person because you keep going over my past and over things that um, affected me. And even though a lot of them don't affect me anymore, people still go over them as if it's if it's not even affecting me and these things happen to me, it's, it's, it's just weird for me that people keep going over a past me that's not there anymore and, and won't come back. I think people expect in a few months that I'm going to go back to Canada, that I'm going to um, go back to that old way. I'm going to rip off the hijab and it's just going to be let's get a wheelchair kind of thing. Now, I've been to Canada two or three times back and forth because I've been, like I said, these changes of lifestyle, it's, it's so drastic and, um, it's, it's taken me time through this tug of war to feel like, okay, um, you know, do I want to go back to that lifestyle? So I thought, you know, going back to Canada, I missed certain things, but then it never happened. I never took the hijab off. I never reverted back to my old lifestyle um, totally, you know, like, <laughs> um, but I, I just, I end up coming back here and there's a lot of reasons and I don't feel like I need to justify that to anybody. And I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to explain why I prefer to be here. I, I mean, I think I've already, I have many times. I don't think that people listen. So it's like, for me, if I'm going to just be talking to a brick wall, 
I'm not going to bother. You know, there's just so many people online that are so determined to misunderstand what I say and take a different meaning of it. And I just, you know what, I'm just going to let people do that. And I'm just going to keep quiet and know what my life is like. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, um, there's things I grieve, obviously, about my old life, but again, it doesn't mean that it's what's best for me, and um, I'm still working on issues. Sure, I have a lot to work on, but that's not going to matter geographically for me. Like, uh, wherever I go, there I am. That's true. And, um, you know, it's just, I'm not going to be that person anymore. It's over. It's over with that, that person. It's done. And I'm not going to be going back to that. So I, you know, I know a lot of people think this newer version of me is boring. It's not what you're used to. Um, my audience was mostly people who were, you know, there to watch me be completely silly, totally TMI, things that I would never want to talk about openly now and things I would never in a million years do. And in a way, I'm grieving I'm, I'm having trouble, like, accepting that I've exposed so much of myself in a way. You know, I'm trying to just realize that that's the past and it's done and there's nothing I can do about it, right? But I there's a lot I wish I didn't share with, with people or that I didn't do. So, but there's a lot of things I don't regret either. So, anyway, all this backstory to basically just say that you know, I meant what I said in my post. I know I'm not the queen of consistency and you guys expect me to change my mind and still expect me to go back and live in Canada and be different. But after a year and a half or more, almost two years, I think it's safe to say that, that, uh, that a lot of chapters from that era are just done. It's over with. It's, it's gone. Um, I don't have the want to go back to a lot of that, that a lot of things... I just I'm glad are done and I want to see I want to evolve in life and I want to see where things are going to go I want to stick to my goals I want to I want to travel so bad like it's a yearning inside me that you don't understand um I think it's because you know coming here and being here living in a different culture I want to experience a lot of cultures I want to experience all that life has to offer so but um i'm not also i'm also so basically for the the mukbangs i guess it kind of reminds me of a time when my channel was more simple like you know i had fun doing mukbangs um in a lot of ways i had fun telling you guys stories and stuff too but even with an eating disorder as a human being you know, we have to eat food. And I find whenever I go on diets, whenever I restrict food groups, whenever, you know, I, I start to have negative feelings about food and it causes guilt and it just perpetuates the, the binge eating cycle. And with, with the mukbangs lately, I feel like I get to, um, kind of have more of a routine you know I wake up I take my meds you know I have the healthy drink I eat whatever the heck I want from my mukbang I eat whatever I want and that that satisfies some a craving in me you know as a food addict in a way and then I you know can negotiate with myself okay I'm gonna have this healthy later blah 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 and I know a lot of people are saying well you know you're fooling yourself it's a slippery slope yada 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 but over restricting doesn't work either for me. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and, and in a way it's worse. So, but these are what I'm doing right now. I don't want to do any more on my channel. I don't want to justify as a larger person with health problems. I don't want to justify to people, strangers, why I'm eating what I'm eating, you know, um, especially to a community of people who are also overweight, obese, and don't ever show themselves, but have a lot to say about what I'm eating, about my weight, yada, yada. 
it's 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 a huge community of people who do that and i don't want to justify my choices you know just because i'm a fat person online eating something that's not a salad i don't want to do it um what i do off camera with my life is totally up to me it's my choices um you don't have to watch it you know eating videos are not for everybody at all and so that's fine as well <laughs> you know um there is an audience for it obviously uh and no not just feeders because do you know how many mukbang channels there are and if you go through those people's comments there's not one sexual comment about feederism or whatever dumb people are saying about it just because it's a bigger person eating it has to be a feeder no it's not <laughs> all right people watch mukbangs for different reasons you know um just makes you hungry it's um pleasurable to, to see the good food especially if you can't eat it or if you are eating it's like a social thing you know like i don't have to explain mukbangs people know what they are i've talked about this many times but that's why i'm doing them because for me it's content that's fun there's no drama um i think drama is worse for my health than a cheeseburger at this point honestly you underestimate how how um much that can affect your health it, you know, people really don't realize that. And I don't want to have a dark energy on online with that kind of drama and hatred and disliking and just like totally, total, total negative vibes. Like, I just don't want it in my life. Okay. So mukbangs, um, I built my channel on mukbangs. Uh, at first anyways and I, I always ate to some degree on camera and you know um, I enjoy doing them so that's that um, that's why I want to do it it's the type of content that um, excuse me doesn't involve me sharing my life because I don't want to do that anymore I want private complete privacy at first when I was doing mukbangs in the past I had loved being an open book I love sharing everything and now my feelings have changed about that um so where was I oh yeah mukbangs so that's why uh I do them that's what I want to do I want to do food content um of course when I travel I'm gonna travel do travel vlogs like regarding the food in the different countries and on our couple's channel channel we're gonna do um travel vlogs and what else you know um go out sometimes around here show you different food places and stuff like that and in between that just mukbangs at home like you know um that's basically just what i want to do right now i don't want to come on here and explain why i'm eating a cheeseburger i don't want to come on here and explain my weight loss or gain or whatever the heck um and be like i gained five I, would, I gained half a kilo this week guys no i don't want it and i don't want to you know also go balls to the wall and uh super strict on a diet and um no no i don't want to do it and and just i don't enjoy doing that content whatsoever i don't enjoy it so um, yeah, judge me all you want for that. But for me, there's just no way. There's just no way, no way, no way. I don't enjoy it. It depresses me even more. It makes me feel like losing weight and getting healthy is like a punishment. It feels like a punishment when I do that. So, yeah. I mean, look at it this way. I want to just go back to to learn how to be like a normal person. Like look at someone like Salah. They don't they don't have to count calories. They don't have to worry about, you know, they just they just listen to their normal hunger cues, I guess. I don't know. But I know for someone like me it's different. I have to reset and get there, whatever. But anyway, I don't even know why I'm going down that road. 
but I don't, I, it makes me feel like a chore, a punishment, you know, I, I don't want to do that. So that's just, I, you know, it's, I've changed my mind. Um, yeah, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I don't care if you judge me for that, for my life choices, whatever it's, it is what it is. That's just how I'm happier. Just not, um, doing that, not, not dieting or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing it. And that's all I guess I have to say about it. So, um, I don't think that I'll ever want to go back to opening up about my life because I don't enjoy it anymore. Like uh, something has shifted inside me where I don't want to go back to Canada, rip off the hijab like people think I'm going to do. People still think they're giving me time. In like a few months, she's going to be back in Canada, back to wheelchairs, back to shaving her head, back to being a mess. It's not going to happen. It's not. That's over. That time is over. That like it's just done. It's completely done. And I've been back and forth to Canada enough times now to know that that's not what I want. And I don't want to sit here justifying why, why, but that's just, I'm a different person now. I'm a different foodie beauty. Um, if you don't enjoy this new me, then you know what to do. Like, I'm not going to be changing for anybody. <laughs> like, this is my life. This is who I am now. Take me or leave me. That's up to you. But, um... I'm not my past either. I'm not, the past doesn't affect me anymore. Why it's still, people are still obsessed with it. I don't know, but you have to get over it and accept that it's gone because it's, it's, it was my life. I lived it. And if I'm over it, it's weird that other people are still not. Um, like from years, uh, like years ago. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's, that's it. Mukbangs are uh, valuable entertainment for people who enjoy them. There's a lot. I, I enjoy that. I never, I didn't really used to love them, but I always did watch them. But now I, now I start to love them because it's just like, you know, it's, it's just drama free. And I don't know. I just, I just like drama free content, honestly. Um, but I don't like doing certain things. Like I just, for me, I love food. Like despite even, this is a huge, huge important point. Despite being a food addict, despite having, you know, I think to a degree we're all addicted to some kind of food, especially if you, if you like junk food and you eat it every day, stop, try stopping it cold turkey. It's hard. Um, but with the binge eating and all that, um, I actually haven't been binge eating. So something is is working okay so i don't know if it's that you know i know that i get to eat something i'm craving i don't i don't have that stress of thinking of restricting like oh no i can't eat this ever again kind of thing i don't know what it is but um yeah i still need to um eat and even though i have binge eating disorder i also love food and I'm very interested in the cultural side of food. I'm also interested in like learning about different food, about trying different food. And I love the pleasure that food brings like good food. You know, I love food. I'm a foodie in that I am passionate about food. I love food. You know, people always say, well, how did you know to just cook things? Because I love food. And so if you love something, you know, I'm not like a I don't even measure my spices or anything. So I'm not like a, a cook or a chef. I don't claim to be, but I can make myself something good if I want to something tasty. And that's, I love food. I'm a, I, I am a foodie and a beauty. <laughs> I know that makes people mad. <laughs> so I, I just really love food. And so a big part of me wants to just get more into food and um, hoping that somehow that will also mend my bad relationship with food.
So we will see, but I'm done justifying myself and my uh, opening up about my health. And I know it's totally my fault, you know, but do you know how annoying it is to have so many people comment carb hate? Um, just, I don't know, just like the some of the comments are so annoying and some of, I don't know, I just, I, I, I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. So... I'm totally done with that. I know I say that all the time, but trust me, this is going to stick. I'm, you're not going to see another diet video from me anymore. You know, <laughs> like it's not going to, there's not going to be any diet videos. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Or my health, whatever. That's, that's my personal business. I don't know why I ever decided to share some things like my blood sugar and stuff. So stupid, honestly. So, but that's it for me. I don't want to talk about it anymore, uh, any of those personal things. And this is just like a, a formal video, I guess, cementing that for you guys and answering kind of why I wanted to go back to mukbangs. Um, because people forget that I built my channel on mukbangs. I did start doing, you know, weight loss content after that and all that stuff. It, it's a very eclectic channel, so it has different audiences, you know. When I start doing weight loss stuff, uh, the weight loss audience comes out and says, yay. And the mukbang people say, boo, you know, and then it's like vice versa every time I change my mind. But I want to be consistent. And um, I think that, you know, I just want to just, just do that content for now. Well, yeah, that's going to be my content. A food channel. So um, that's about it. And so yeah, if you don't like watching people eat, you don't like eating noises, I have no idea why you would watch my videos, my mukbang videos, but that's how it's going to be. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for listening to me again. I know a lot of people miss the old foodie beauty. Excuse me, but that that's gone. It's just gone. You know, I'm 40 now. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be... Um, doing any of the things that I used to do it's just uh just feel different about things now I don't have that same energy either <laughs> I don't know <sighs> this is why I don't edit I would have to listen to myself say all this over again no thanks <laughs> I even bore myself sometimes so <laughs> it doesn't bug me that people think my content's boring it doesn't some people, you know, some people don't. Some people do, whatever. Um, all right, so I guess that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.